know, is Pat Mahomes. Um, to me, you know, you look at last year, finishes the QB eight. Uh, we know there are a lot of issues with the Chiefs offense last year, uncharacteristically. The defense was actually what stepped up for them. But I, I look at last year, QB8, that's not really who he is. You go back to 2018 through 2022, he was a quarterback one, seven, four, four, one. That's more so what I think he is. There was also a lot of issues with drops. Two pass catchers on their offense were in the top 12 and drops this season. Um, so I think a little better hands. I think the offense will bounce back. Kelsey started the year hurt. Kelsey got dinged up throughout the year. Then I, then I think they kind of conserved him until the playoffs. So maybe they let that rip a little more without any injuries. So to me, it's an easy pick for me. Mahomes is my number one quarterback. Uh, Pete, you see Pat Mahomes. What do you think? So Mahomes uh, was the lowest on my list, but that's not really saying much. Um, you know, he was my quarterback three um, on my list. Um, and I do think he has up, you know, quarterback one finish upside. I mean, this could be the, you know, the best collection uh, of wide receivers and, and just skill players that he's had since Tyreek Hill. Um, and it's hard to argue against that. Um, my reason being uh, having him at three for me and not one like uh, like most of you did. I know, Hoff, you had him at one. Yep. It's just the rushing upside. Um, he doesn't provide that uh, as much. Um, now, he did. He did rush uh, for the most attempts of his career in 2023, but he doesn't have that upside like Hurts and Allen, who I've ranked ahead of him. Um, and uh, I do expect some regression there. Um, I don't think uh, he's going to want to run. He's got new weapons. I think he's going to want to throw the football more. Um, and uh, I feel like he ran out of necessity, not because of want and desire last season. Um, Marquise Brown being banged up already, uh, and worthy, uh, had a minor hamstring injury. Uh, I think it was either in OTAs or in the beginning of camp and he's obviously good now. Um, so that kind of worries me with the wide receiver room. Um, for the, you know, Brown is Marquise Brown is always struggling with injury. It seems like he's going to be back hopefully week one. Um, but you know, it could take a little time for Brown and worthy to get comfortable in the offense. I mean, I, I, I don't think that's really talked about enough. Brown is a veteran, so I don't expect him to have much of a learning curve, but he is going to be out, uh, due to injury for pretty much the whole rest of the preseason and, uh, Worthy's a rookie. So it could take him a little bit of time. Um, I also worry that, you know, they play in a dome three times a year, uh, this season, only three games. And they have a tough playoff schedule. Um, they play outside against the Browns in week one of the fantasy playoffs. They're home against the Texans who have a uh, have a revitalized defense. Now, that could be a very high-scoring game against the Texans. Um, I, I think they should be fine there. Uh, and then in the fantasy championship, they play against the Steelers in Pittsburgh uh, in January, um, which is probably going to be pretty cold. So I factor all that in. Um, Quarterback three, uh, it's not a knock on him. And, uh, you know, I, I'm sure I, I've, I have him in Dynasty, and I'm sure I'll have a share or two of him uh, this year in, in my many redraft leagues that I'm in. Right. Yeah, that sounds good to me. Did, uh, did, did did you guys have any quick points? Are you guys good? You guys go with that, all that information? I'll, I'll just add, you know, it does seem like the Chiefs want to go downfield more. You're watching clips of Worthy and Marquise Brown, Hollywood Brown, running double moves. So, that opens up things underneath with Rasheed Rice and Travis Kelsey. Kelsey, you get those two deep threats now, which they didn't really – I mean, they had MVS, but we all know his issues and, you know, the, the, the trust just wasn't really there. Um, and Nicole Hardman just, you know, was never really anything uh, – hasn't done nothing as a deep threat really in his career either. So they get these two weapons, Worthy and and uh, Hollywood Brown, and you expect them to change their offense – uh, from last year, and then Mahomes, you know, his rookie year, he threw 50 touchdowns, which is absolutely or his second year, rather. Uh, 50 touchdowns, 5,000 yards, and he was just 50, 5,200 yards two years ago was the QB1, 41 touchdowns, 12 uh interceptions last year. Everybody again was taking him in the second round, he slipped. Uh, so I have him number two. I'm giving him the benefit of the doubt, and the guy's got three Super Bowls, he's the best quarterback in the league, uh, with all his titles. So I'm put him at two. Um, you know, but as a consensus one, I don't think it's terrible. Yeah, Mahomes is my overall quarterback one. And I don't, I don't need to go too far into this, but with this new set of weapons, I think we can see one of those special Mahomes seasons. We've seen a few of them, uh, 2018, 
2020 and then 2022, all three of those years, he was a QB2 or QB1 and points per game. And just looking at his big pass games in those years, like last year, Mahomes only had four 300-yard games last year. When Mahomes is on, like in those big seasons, two of those years, he had 10 games with 300 yards. The other one, he had nine uh, and then, you know, half of them are 350 plus yard game. So like the, the numbers are astronomical to where I'm not worried about any type of rushing floor with Patrick Mahomes. We, I, I am ranking him as my overall quarterback one, you know, look at everything on the line, chasing a three peat Super Bowl, trying to bounce back from a year where it looked like he wasn't even the same player. Um, uh, so like, this is an all in play for me. I have a lot of Patrick Mahomes exposure already this off season. So I, I'm, I'm buying into another special year from uh, one of the best who, uh, who's ever done it. All right. There you go. Good times. Um, yes, Anthony, I would just, just, I would just add one more thing. I guess the arguments yeah. against Mahomes being number one would be Kelsey's getting older. Hollywood's new and also worthy is new in the offense as well. Like Pete mentioned. So those are some of the arguments against, but I could see obviously this offense getting even more explosive, obviously yeah. from last year. So, yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. and, you know, you go back to 2022, uh, 2022 first year without Tyreek, he finishes the quarterback one. Right. So like he has shown he can, do this with a wide receiver room that's that's questionable. Uh so yeah, I have I have literally no worries. Um Anthony, one thing